As we work to uh, jump into this endeavor together, we're trying to create some unique opportunities or different ways to uh, look at school and some educational learning opportunities. It doesn't always have to be sit down and do work in front of a computer or sit at home and uh, do some of the paperwork that's being assigned. Some of those endeavors may be week-long tasks for families where we kind of give you a playbook of here's the week it's head. And we're also trying to put some things out there that you could do as a family uh, when we're in, in together right now and take time with one another. So I'm kind of issuing a challenge to some of our uh, district educators uh, we put some of these out, uh, stories that we feel are valuable to children, but also give you an opportunity to sit down together at night and uh, take on uh, one of these children's books or an activity to do as a family. And this book's called The Dot. Not sure how many people are familiar with it, but it has a great message and fits what's going on in today's world. And the author of The uh, Dot is Peter H. Reynolds. The art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. And I don't know how many of you are uh, great artists, but that is definitely not something in my wheelhouse. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. And I think we all, many of us have probably had that feeling or something we struggle to do where we see all eyes on us. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a felt tip pen and gave the paper a good strong jab. There! Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper towards Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. I guess I would ask you at this point in the story, why do you think the teacher's going to have Vashti sign that paper? What, what would be the thought process behind that? Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. I don't know how many of you, but uh, I'm an autograph collector, and as a kid, I used to love to practice my autograph and hope someday I'd be signing something. Uh, not that many of us get that opportunity, but it's always fun to practice and make some cool looks on your autograph. The next week, when Vashti walked into her art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn. Her dot, all framed in a swirly gold. And as we think about the work we do, when we do work and somebody held it up to show someone else, we kind of want to always think, does that work truly represent who we are? Because we all have good days and bad days, and we want to put out the best work we can each and every time. Hmm! I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never-before-used set of watercolors and set to work. I ask you at this point, what do you think that teacher put that up for? Why would the teacher choose to frame that and put that up in the class that Vashti walked into? Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow, she discovered she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. You would have thought in the beginning that Vashti has their own exhibit there at the school art show. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw. A straight line with a ruler. Think about Vashti reflecting back to where she was in the beginning of the story. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. What do you think is going to happen to this little boy? Well, if you had to predict, what do you think this little boy is going to do based on what Vashti's 
having him do. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. And then she said, what do you think she said? We're going to find out. Simon. So, why do you think the author chose to end that book with sign it? And what's the message of that in the story about signing your name to something you do? Um, and I think right now in today's world, more than ever, we have an opportunity to make a mark. We have an opportunity to make a positive impact, not just on ourselves, but those people in and around us, our older family members, people in our community. And we got to believe in other people, just like Vashti's teacher believed in her. So um, there is creative spirit in everyone. There is spirit in all of us. And kind of as Vashti told us, where there's a dot, there's a way. So I'm issuing a challenge to other folks to jump in. I'm looking forward to having some of our other Beaver Local staff read books. And I uh, look forward to you using these with uh, your children at home. Uh, have a great evening.